Hi, and welcome to um, the arc problem, parts A and B. I'm referring to this problem, the text of which is in the, the file in the same directory. Uh, Red Elk hits a golf ball at a speed of 41.3 meters per second at an angle of 78.2 degrees above the horizontal. Assume that the ground is level and ignore air friction. And we're going to do what time the ball is in the air and the horizontal distance the ball goes before striking the ground. Okay. On this kind of problem, we've got level ground. We're launching the ball at quite a high angle like that. The ball is going to, this is a 78.2 degree angle. This is 41.3 meters per second of velocity like that. And of course the ball is going to go quite high, hit the ground right there, right? And the very first thing we have to do is we have to figure out these, what this is in vector components. We've got to know the horizontal component, which isn't much, and the vertical component, which is quite a lot, right? And now this is a trig angle, so this is easy, right? It's uh, 41.3 uh, cos, 78.2 degrees, and that's going to be in the x direction. This is meters per second. And then it's going to be 41.3 meters per second sine 78.2 degrees, and that's going to be in the y direction. Okay, and we can do this on our calculator that looks like this. That looks like this, so we can write these down. This guy is going to be 8, and we have 3 sig figs here and three sig figs there, so our answer, we should really should write down about five sig figs, just to be safe, four, four, uh, what is that, five, seven meters per second in the x direction, right? And then this guy is 40.427 meters per second in the y direction, like that. Okay, and now we're all set. We can. So the, the good news is we can solve these problems exactly the same way we always have. We can set up our little table like this, right? And we can go suvat. This is horizontal. This is vertical, like this. And these guys here, okay, those guys become our initial velocities right here. Okay. Only we're going to want to. A little more room for that poor guy there. Okay. Right. So this is this just becomes this guy comes right down here. 8.4457 meters per second. This guy is 40.427 meters per second. And those are the initial velocities. In the horizontal direction, since there's no acceleration, this guy won't change. Right. Here there is an acceleration, negative 9.81 on Earth meters per second squared. And so this is all subject to change. This is going to change. Okay. Now, this problem here, basically there's two things going on. We're moving to the side, and we're going up and down. Right? If it were this velocity alone, we'd just go up and down. If it were this one alone, we'd just move to the side. So the parabola then is just both motions at once. Okay, so we know in these kinds of problems where we start at the ground, go up, and come down. If there's no air friction, we come down with negative the initial velocity. So this guy, the final velocity, is just negative 40.427 meters per second. If that's level ground, if the ground is level. We also know that this is zero. Okay, and now we're really pretty much all set. We can find the time using V equals U plus AT, right? So T is V minus U over A, which in our calculator looks like this. There it is, 8.242420. That's with sig figs. I'm just keeping five sig figs. 8.2420. Right, and now we're all set in the in the horizontal direction. All we ever do is s equals u t. Okay, that's all we ever do. The only formula, and that's u t plus one half a t squared. But there's no one half a t squared because there's no a. 
Okay, so we're all set. We can just find the displacement here. S equals UT, which is 8.4457. Time is 8.2420. Okay, and so we just multiply that guy times 8.4457, and we get 69. 6 meters. So this is this distance here, 69.6 meters. Right. The thing is in the air. Okay. It's in the air for that's supposed to be a clock, right? 8.24 seconds. And there you go. Ta-da.